Right now, a driver is dead after what was supposed to be a traffic stop. Several streets in Lawrenceville were closed, while crime scene detectives collected evidence leading to several businesses not being able to open for the day. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens was at the scene earlier today. She joins us live with what she's learned. Latasha. Well, good evening, Jonathan and Faith. GBI has identified the driver killed as 33-year-old John Michael Sakalo Jr. of Decula. And traffic is back to normal, as you can see behind me. But this entire stretch of road was blocked off during the busiest part of morning rush hour traffic as investigators work to collect evidence. This is the aftermath of a deadly officer involved shooting in Lawrenceville. Investigators say 33 year old John Michael Sakalo Jr. of Decula sped past them in a black sedan and they tried to stop him. They say Sakalo then made a U turn and started driving back towards the officers. GBI, who is investigating this case, says Sakalo then abandoned his car and tried to steal the police patrol car. GBI says officers gave him verbal commands, but he ignored them. He was shot moments later. This all happened happened around 3 a.m., but several streets were blocked off, stretching from West Pike Street to Old Norcross all the way to Langley, leading into morning rush hour traffic, making many commuters hours late for work. Everybody that's kind of just down this whole place was just completely blocked off. Uh, one of my coworkers tried to uh, park his car and walk down here. They turned him back. Having a situation like this is hard. We couldn't even open today. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, that's a big impact for us. William Ramirez, the owner of Pike Street Auto Repair, says he had to cancel all his appointments today because employees and customers could not get past the blocked off roads, costing him a day's worth of business. I mean, this year has been a little bit slower than usual. Mm -hmm. uh, and having a situation like this that where you can't even open your you know, business to, you know, to get customers in, and mm -hmm. it's hard, it, it, it does impact us. Now, Lawrenceville police tell us it's the department's policy to place officers involved in shootings on administrative leave while being paid during an investigation. GBI tells us this is the 74th officer involved shooting statewide they've been asked to investigate. We'll continue to follow the story. Back to you. All right, Latasha, thank you so much.